really think an energy weapon is going to stop this monitor guy? You know, that's the hope. Why this place? The military stores all this excess plutonium here. Problem is, it's impenetrable. Which is why you asked me to come. You need to be any expert to, to get inside. Yeah, well, actually, it's more of a smash and grab. There's a shipment coming in tonight. We are going to steal the plutonium before it gets inside. Go, go, go. Why not bring Dino or Renee? They have their hands full in Star City. Must be weird, right? Oliver meeting his future son? <laughs> yeah, well, he's not the only one. In the future, I adopt Ben Turner's son, Connor. He's an agent at Nightwatch. Future version of Argus. Well, sounds like he would have been a great candidate for this mission. You didn't need me for this, John. So what are we really doing here? You said you wanted to atone. We can't do that by fixing cars. You do that by rejoining the team. I know you think you can't control your bloodlust. It's only because you haven't figured out a way that works. Because there is no way. So whatever you're about to say, I don't want to hear it. Look, we're already here, so I'm gonna help you. But once we're done, I'm going to disappear. To a place where even William can't find me. Shipment should be here soon. What made you wait till now to give me your big pitch? I'm guessing Connor told you something bad about me in the future. Not just about you. Tell me. William finds you and Lee and you. After being there for years, apparently in some self-imposed exile. I never get rid of my bloodlust? You knew all that, and you still thought you could come save me? Because there's more to your story. You may have started on Lee and you, right, but that's not where you ended. Felicity sent William to that island to find you because she believed in you. You go back to Star City, man. You work with the kids. You help them save the city, Roy. How is that possible? Because you found the way to control your bloodlust. You found that it was by being part of a team. You kept your distance because you believed that you were a danger to everyone around you, but the real danger was believing that you can deal with your past alone. That's pretty ballsy. Thinking you could give me the answer 20 years earlier. Yeah, well, hopefully this time you don't have to wait that long. contact.